All right, guys, so we're starting AutoCAD 2021, and the idea behind this entire series will be to get you to draft faster and to get you into the workforce as quickly as possible. Uh, it's supposed to serve as more of a review, but at the same time, I'm going to be covering over command. We're going to try to avoid using things from up here in the ribbon, and I'm going to be teaching you commands that are more than likely to be used whenever you're drafting. So when it comes to all the list of commands that you're looking at, ellipsoids and circles, all those commands are relevant, but they're not relevant to getting tasks done, such as drafting. So let's go ahead and get into it. Whenever you open up a new AutoCAD file, you'll end up either on this, point, uh, this prompt It'll automatically default to this, or you can click on new, which is up here. And this is what's going to, uh, that's going to open up. This is what's going to open up. So if I click on new, this is what you're going to be looking at. And you're going to have a series of templates that you can select from. Um, a series of um, construction templates or architectural templates um, that your industry provides. So the moment you open up a file, this is what you're looking at. The first command I want you to type if you're starting from scratch is units. UN is the shortcut, but units is the command that you need to check the moment you open up the file. So when I click on units, it'll pull up a prompt like this. Now, if you are drafting per standards, you should have your precision set to the highest scale, which is 1 2 of an inch. For construction tolerances, you can bring it down to a quarter or half an inch. Um, and pretty much your angles are in decimals. You're good to go here. So the first command we just covered is units. The second command you should always type when you come in to uh, AutoCAD is OS. OS is for O snaps, and the point of O snap is what is my mouse going to cling to when I come to those corners. So when it comes to endpoints, midpoint, center, geometric center, I would even argue node and perpendicular. Other than that, the things that you should not have on is nearest and apparent intersection or parallel. These things will throw off your drawings. So these are the old snaps that you should have on. Press OK. Now, as we're introducing this, you have your model space and your page layout. Page layout is something we will discuss on the third or fourth video, but on this particular video, we're going to be focusing on how to draw, how to get yourself going and um, working on, on drafting. So we have covered units, OSNAP. The next command I want you to understand is line, L, enter. Now, for the sake of drawing, we're going to only draw a three foot by three foot box. Notice how in order to insert dimension, when you type in, as you're under the line command, you type in three feet, enter. Now, if I was to do it with inches, I can type in three feet dash six inches. And you're able to draw fairly quickly. Now, in order to make this a square, I'm gonna type in L, enter. And I'm going to simply click here, drag across, type in three feet. Now, in order to get rid of a line, you can simply select the line, click on the line, and delete it. Now, in order to go back, is Control Z, which is here. In order to go forward, is Control Y. So your undo and your redo buttons are here. Again trying to get up to speed in terms of drafting, click. Your right hand should always be on your mouse and your left hand should always be on the keyboard. All right, so we learned the delete command and we learned undo, redo, okay? So whenever you want to, again, as a reference, you type in L, enter, and notice how it snaps to the end point here. So it's snapping to the endpoint there, and 
pretty much allowed me to create this box that's three feet by three feet. Now, after we have drawn out this box, I want you to go ahead and use the P line command, which is P L enter. Now, P line, or also known as a polyline, consists of multiple input, but it links the line together. So it acts as if you've only inputted uh, that one line is bent around the, uh, the parameters that you have given. So in this sense, I'm going to go ahead and type in three feet, enter, drag down my mouse, and no notice how my line is moving in orthogonal directions only, which is because I have ortho on. For those who are working on angles, this will allow you to move in angles as long as you have ortho on or off. Now, the shortcut for that is F8. Again, your left hand should be on the keyboard. The right hand should always be on the mouse. As you are drafting downwards, I want you to go ahead. I'm going to hit F8. Or ortho on. You can select ortho on from right here. Now, as I drag my mouse down, I'm going to go ahead and type in three feet enter. Notice that this is the P line command. And at the end of the day, we will end up having the same result. I drew around three feet, three feet down, three feet over, and three feet up. Now, in order to do a selection, I could select by picking a line. Or in this case, I can select by simply selecting one line, but it'll highlight the whole P line altogether. A P line is also distinguished by these dash markers here. Notice how a line has a dot in the middle and a P line has a dash in the middle. That dash can be converted to a vertex or an arc. And just to demonstrate, if that was to turn into a vertex, you can turn that into a pentagon. Now, that's a polyline and a line difference. Another major difference between a line and a polyline is whenever I offset a line, and it doesn't matter which modified tool you will learn um, in the next video, anytime you offset a line, and in this case, I'm gonna offset three inches, it will treat each line as an individual element. So it will offset all four lines individually in respect to themselves. Now, if I was to offset a polyline three inches, the results are significantly different because it will clean up those edges for you and it took that line as one continuous polyline or multiple lines as one input. So therefore, the offset is the entire line over three inches, which will make a three inch bigger square. So those are the major differences between a line and a polyline. Now, continuing with this theme of creating a three inch square, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the rectangle command, R-E-C, which is the rectangle command. So on our list, we have units, which was U-N, O-snap, which was O-S, line, which was L enter, polyline, which was P L enter, undo, which was control Z, redo, which was control Y, and rectangle command. The rectangle command is simply you clicking into the model space, dragging your mouse over, and you can type in three feet comma three feet. And it will give you a rectangle that is three feet by three feet. And this is your X, Y coordinates, so it went three feet over this way and three feet up top. So in the next video, we will be covering drawing commands or drawing tools, and we're going to revisit line polyline, rectangles, and we will add 
certain other drawing tools which was allow us to have more freedom in our arsenal to draw. With that said, like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.